not so long ago, our very good friend Curly made a video all about the Catch X Mini GPS bait boat. And within the comments section of said video, quite a few people mentioned about the GPS tolerances and how they thought they were too high, that they weren't accurate enough. Now the guys at Ripton listened and they have acted which is exactly what you want a brand to do they've now incorporated a brand new feature called deviation correction this is going to enable you to take that gps accuracy down to 0.5 of a meter which is extremely impressive and quite possibly one of the most accurate bait boats on the market in this video i'm going to show you how to carry out that process so that you can get the absolute most out of your catch x mini bait boat let's get into it So as I said in the intro, if you are noticing any kind of signal deviation with your Catch X Mini GPS bait boat, then this is the video to watch. First of all, we need to get the boat in the water, obviously after turning the hands and the boat on, and then we're just gonna drive it around four to five meters out into the lake and just give it a few moments to pick up the GPS satellites. Now that the boat is at that four to five meter range, you just need to turn on the electronic anchor function. Now this is a function that is basically designed to stop the boat drifting around the lake while you're sorting out a rod or whatever you might be doing, the boat is supposed to stay within that 0.5 meter range. Now if it doesn't, that is when you know that you need to carry out the deviation correction process. So a good way to get an indication as to whether that boat is drifting while on that electronic anchor mode is very similar to when you're casting, whether it be a marker float or your lead or whatever, and you pick a horizon marker, whether it's a tree or a bush or what have you, whatever you've got in front of you, just use that as sort of your marker as an indicator, just to give you an idea of whether the boat is actually drifting or not. So the next part of the procedure is to perform a two to three point fixed point scanning procedure. The points themselves need to be approximately 10 meters apart. And what that enables it to do is to sort of pick each point individually and check the satellites at that point. It's very straightforward. It is simply a case of dropping pins onto a map, very similar to what you would on say Google Maps, for example. Click that start mission button and the bait boat will do the rest of the work for you. Once that fixed point scan is done, you need to drive the bait boat so that it's roughly 10 meters from the bank. Again, this time it's going to be a reference point. So you need to line that up with a horizon marker so that you can monitor to see how well the correction has been completed. Okay, so now you need to get the bait boat back to our original reference point that we set earlier, which was in our case at the front of my swim. That's where you would normally do in bait or rigs and bits and pieces like that. So it's a very good option to pick from. So as I say, get the bait boat back to the swim and then on the app, you need to set that as a reference point by pushing the marker. Once you've done that, there will be an option pop up onto the screen to let you carry out the deviation calibration. So before you put the boat back into the water, you need to click that fix deviation icon. Wait sort of five to 10 seconds for it to do its bit and then place the boat back in the lake and we're going to test that deviation now by going back to the reference point that was set roughly 10 meters out in the lake. Now at this point, you should have noticed your Catch X Mini GPS bait boat has absolutely flown out to that 10 meter spot and is exactly where it should have been. Again, as I mentioned, within a 0.5 meter range. I mean, half a meter is really nothing. It's, it's not much bigger than the bait boat itself. So anything that can run off of satellites and be that accurate is gonna be a massive edge within your fishing, as I'm sure all of you guys are already fully aware if you own one of these bait boats. Now where this does come in extremely handy is if you are on sort of a two, three, four, five day holiday, the last thing that you wanna be doing is finding a spot at the beginning of the week and then baiting it inaccurately for the entire length of your stay. And that is where the deviation mode does come in very handy indeed. You can do it on subsequent days to make sure that that accuracy stays 100% pinpoint for the entire length of your trip. Now to carry out this process, it is a little bit more straightforward and a little bit quicker. And it is quite simply a case of obviously switching the boat and the handset on, getting it into the lake and taking it out to that original reference point, which is roughly sort of 10 meters away from the bank and just turning on the electronic anchor. Once that's done and the anchor has stabilized, you can then bring it back to your reference point that you've set at the front of your swim and it will give you the option to once again carry out a deviation correction. Now on the app, you should almost see a target style screen appear. 
So you've got three different colors on there, orange, blue, and green. Now the green area is a two meter area of tolerance. The blue area is a three meter area of tolerance and the orange is a four meter area of tolerance. Now, obviously we want to keep it most definitely within the green and we don't just want it in the green. We want it right smack in the middle of the green. And that's where once again, we carry out that deviation correction. And again, after five to 10 seconds, you can place the boat back into the water and then navigate the boat out to your original reference point. Once again, using the marker on the far margin to decide whether the boat is accurate. And of course, if the boat is accurate, which I'm pretty certain it will be, then you know the deviation correction is complete and you will be baiting accurately for the entirety of your stay. This is extremely helpful if you are doing a longer trip. So really do consider taking just that little bit of time. It will go a massively long way to keeping your baiting accurate. And let's be honest, on some of these French venues or larger lakes, accurate baiting is very, very important indeed. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, pop down into the comments and let me know how much you're enjoying your Catch X Mini GPS bait boat. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much.